Well, hello everybody. As the summer <laughs> goes on, we're hoping that at some point we'll be able to get the barbecue out. We have had it out once, but Wendy got a bit worried, and I, I did too, to be honest, that it was too close to the awning and the van. Um, and we, we've been sort of restricted by uh, the people that sell, um, well, the caravan dealers actually, that sell high pressure gas hose for barbecues for the for the hookup thing that only sell it in two meter lengths because they believe it's the law anyway whether it is the law or not you can buy longer pieces uh, especially designed for barbecues and the hookup so let me just show you where the barbecue went where when we got a two meter hose fitted so you can see the crazy position that we have to have the barbecue in. It's sort of half in the awning, half out. Um, it is actually connected up uh, down there to the barbecue point and we literally can't get it any further away. Um, <laughs> so getting in and out through this route is, well, difficult and frankly dangerous. I mean, look at this. I'd have to squeeze up against that and actually have my private parts brushing over <laughs> the uh, the hot plate. So, and then um, if we put it out of the way over here, it's so close to the awning, it's like my hand width apart, which is about four or five inches. Um, you know, to give to give me a, a sort of safe distance between me and the and the barbecue. But then I've got the hose going across that way, and then okay. So if I put it over that way, yeah, we've got the hose out of the way, but the hot plate is like right up to the van. Um, I'm not happy about putting that much heat source next to a rather expensive brand new van. So what we've done is we've bought a new uh, barbecue hookup hose, which I'm gonna fix now and show you how far away we can get the barbecue and for it still to work. Because there was some suggestion that using a longer hose would A, be dangerous, uh, trip hazard, puncture hazard, in terms of dangerous, and that the gas pressure over uh, a distance more than two meters would drop so much that your barbecue would then become unusable because of the gas pressure. Well, I've read a lot about this online in forums and seen posts from people that are using longer hoses, and it's all okay. I can't find anything in law that says I can't use a longer hose. So I've gone and bought one, easy to buy on Amazon. I bought a five meter hose. So let's show you me fixing that up now. So we've got this, uh, this end. This came with the van um, and you'll see it's, it's a sort of um, notched thing. This plugs into the gas outlet and turns um, actually turns that way to lock it in place uh, it's held on to the gas hose by a little jubilee clip which is nicely fastened on i'm going to take that off and fix this onto the other hose and i've got a similar um, thing on the other end let's just show you that so all i need is a little screwdriver and i carry uh, this nice birthday present i think it was a birthday present wasn't it yeah. Birthday present stroke Father's Day present. This uh, leather man, a wingman, sort of multi-tool um, from my sons, uh, which I'd like to say thank you very much. I carry it everywhere with me and use it almost daily. Um, finding the right tool on it is a bit of a challenge sometimes, but little, uh, yeah, little screwdriver. That'll do it. 
uh, I think uh, well, there's a measuring stick and a file and a little sort of sharp end. I'm not sure that's the actual screwdriver. So this end will be the screwdrivers here. So two screwdrivers on this end. There's the uh, sort of Phillips end and the flat end. I think all I need is a flat ended screwdriver on here to just undo that, loosen that off and that should then uh, detach from there, Let's undo that a bit more it might be grabbing onto it see it's a pretty tight fit um, onto there so I'll just take that Jubilee clip off get the new hose this is the new hose here and you'll see that just pops in there. I'm going to put the Jubilee clip on first and then that's a nice sort of easy push on fit on, on there of a good way so that there's no chance of it sort of leaking and then get that get that over the bulb at the end and then Use my trusty leather man to um, tighten that on. Even so, I think um, that tighter fit would actually stop it leaking anyway. But I'm going to put that clip around it and do it up nice and tight so there's no chance of it leaking. So that's one end done. So this is the other, the other end and we just need to undo the Jubilee clip on that one and make sure that that's off, off the Jubilee clip and then we can pull that off the end of there so that's the two meter pipe the two ends of there you see it's not not actually that long at all um, and I think unsafe to use in the current position that we've got so I'm going to take this other five meter hose the other end of that and once again pop the Jubilee clip on I'll give that a bit of a loosen up uh, while it's while it's there, so that we can, you know, get the get the fitting on without it um, being troubled by that. And I think that will that will go on there quite nicely. Yep. So that's that. So you see it has all these other um, ridges on here and that's for just um, slightly bigger pipe so it can actually grip on. I'm not intending, uh, and I don't think you're intended, to get this pipe on further than that because it's like almost impossible to push it on any further. So what I can do now is uh, just tighten this. tighten up this Jubilee clip and we'll be good to go in terms of firing up the barbecue but let's just I'm just we've got nothing to cook on it um, right now but I'm just gonna fire it up see if it actually works so that's the five meter tube fitted but let's see how far away from the van we can get 
the barbecue and then let's fire it up see if it actually works now I think you remember that um, the two meter pipe allowed us to put the barbecue roughly about here we're going to un unwind the five meter pipe and plug that in and see how far away from the van we can get this actually I'm going to feed it the other side of the awning cover and then we'll gently move this away got a couple of kinks in it but um, I'm much happier with the position of the barbecue there. Let me just show you where it is. So this is the back of uh, the motorhome here and we had the barbecue down in there but now look where we can put it. Good distance away. I mean I can walk through there, I can have my back against the van and still be a good arm's length away from that barbecue but let's fire it up see if it actually works this is the uh, this is the gas element here where the flames come out of that's that's all there the the, the hot plate goes on top um, usually I'd have some water in here but we're just gonna try cooking up a little bit of uh, <laughs> what as to call cooking bacon but let's see if it fires up Okay, so um, <laughs> it took a couple of goes, but I think I pulled the uh, pipe a little bit and the, um, the valve at the other end had come sort of un unconnected. So what I'm going to do is pop, pop the hot plate back on here. Try not to burn my fingers. And here we go. Pop that bit of bacon on. We've got a bit of leftover as the farm stores cooking bacon. Well, <laughs> I think that's a bit of a success story on uh, cooking bacon on a Kadak barbecue and the five meter high pressure gas hose. It does work. I think the pressure on the gas is a little bit less, so the heat available to the barbecue is a bit less. But do you know what? It's cooking nicely over there. See the description and for a link where you can buy the 5 meter gas hose on Amazon. Um, don't forget, give us a thumbs up if you like this video, even with the long version of cooking bacon. And uh, follow us on Twitter and Facebook at GoRVLiving. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.